In this episode, we start to explore Electrify, and this is just a truly awesome exhibit, um, after my own heart, essentially. Um, it's the Society for Preservation Archaeology of the Metaverse, also known as SPAM. And this is really cool because we have a lot of historical aspects here. Um, so, we have the original avatars, previous original noobs had a white t-shirt and jeans like a 1950s greaser, uh, modern avatars, and your hippo. <laughs> um, but we have historical things. You click on the information, you see uh, different phenomena. Um, so like over here, for example, this is cool. We have three tanks. You have your prim tank, your sculpty tank, and your mesh tank. Um, interesting thing is some of the old sculpties, sometimes, depending on the model, some would rest fast, some would rest slow, some would take forever. That's why mesh is such, one of the reasons why mesh is such an improvement or sculpties. Um, it's actually for prim, it's actually a pretty good prim model, quite honestly. Um, sometimes prims look just like this. Um, oh, this is great, this is trees. I had these. And you know, they did something where they don't do it anymore, but the original linden trees were cool because they were one of the only ones that actually swayed in the wind. Um, so if you have an old inventory like mine, <laughs> you know of these. I might even still have, no, I might have gotten rid of some of these in my town, um, but, well, yeah, research is still ongoing to learn what caused mysterious change over trees don't sway anymore. That was what's so great about these linden trees, they used to sway, and if you go along, like, the main line for highways and whatnot, you'd still see with trees, but they don't sway anymore. That was great back in all days, because they were the only things that did it, and as far as I know, they weren't scripted to do such. Um, it was a very uh, mysterious, fun issue. Um, here you get a free camera HUD, so you do get a gift here. Um, we have a picture for our sponsor, May His Prim Shine Forever. And... I did something like this once in SL, what was it, 10B, 12B, where I had a prim on display, it was all and new, um, I forget what the theme was that year, but they took it a step farther now, thanks to, you know, information and prims and whatnot, so you have your noob here, and this is cool, you got your prim, and it has a good description, flex of prim, and I love this one here, but it is a prim, it's a mysterious or of unknown origins, um, it renders any avatar behind it invisible. Uh, wait, that person's there. What are they trying to say? Hang on. Doesn't make any sense. See, I see myself. Um, the alpha layer. <laughs> um, well, here's a new one. It's interesting. This mirror premise. And it also talks about how mysterious it is. Um, it's very unusual. Cruise visions that don't exist. Um, Wait, did I just see myself? Oh wow, my hat. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I guess I'm smiling, James. And over here we have a computer, and apparently it actually runs. And you click it. Whoops. Uh, yeah, say hello. Oh, cool. Hexa. Apparently, according to this, it doesn't use any servers or backend. It's actually an emulator that's running off a of sim right now. So since this is so cool, we're gonna let it go and see how how it works. There we go. There we go. Verify is there. There goes a computer. 280, 288, 290. Okay, now we're going to run it. (laughs) 
There's like a typo or something in here. See, it didn't do an L and a D. That's funny. But that's cool. Oh, then we have a uh, history of uh, telehubs and uh, how big the map was and whatnot. Um, I don't know. I really like this parcel. This might be outside of my uh, <laughs> SL19B plan. I really like this parcel outside of, you know, the puzzles in the cities I talk about a lot on, on this channel so thus far. Um, this might be. I wouldn't say you like to hang around. This might be one of my favorites just from it. I don't know. The whole thing put together. I really like it. I think it's great. Welcome to Cloudcroft. Population growing. New Mexico. With New Mexico flag. Yeah, there used to be a time years ago where it was like one RC parcel with a UFO. Being up a cow. I don't know where it stems from exactly. Um, now we get quite a few. So we have our street, we have our railroad, we have our uh, space force. Um, I'm gonna guess it's based on a role playing sim. Just like a real town, everything's a parody of its own name Cloud Skate. <laughs> the aliens. Um, so here we got an activity, we got, you know, of all the years I've been on Second Life, I don't think I've ever been to a roller rink. And here we have one with like really good textures, a disco ball, <laughs> uh, the wood, the alien skating, um, there might be music playing if I turn to play on, but... It's just really, I like that I can see so many new things here. Yeah, so you get skates and you can skate. That's like so, that's cool, man. <laughs> Let's just say that. That's interesting, this actually has uh, the benefits of roleplay pregnancy and things of that nature. Which is a lot of that on Second Life, the Family Center, but it's got the, the um, aliens. So, you know, we, we have something serious here, you see? And we got the landmarks, finally. Um, yeah, we have the, the theme I was just talking about, where at some point there were aliens in one cinema, really cool artsy cinema. Or parts, I should say. And now we combine them. Um, really funny. I quickly highlight the elves of Second Life into the future uh, because they're really cool sci fi set. The lighting, the effects, the um, elven statue, the trees. And uh, it's a long parcel, too, because it looks like a double parcel. I was expecting it to end right where that E is on the left, but it's nice. It's like a town square park, but it's got the atmosphere. Is, uh, I like the atmosphere of it. It's got a nice sort of town square atmosphere here. Also in Electrify, we have the immersive artwork of Half Asleep. Squids, cats, seals, astronauts, television on the table, and um, this is how big all the <laughs> items are. Pretty cool, huh? The cool thing about Second Life is, if you know where to find them, and once you find them, there are a lot of great explorer groups out there. Um, not just the earlier some of the drivers, but the city 
Forever Mainland, I think, was one of them. Um, you know, it was activities great right out. I like these HUD ones where, like this one, the Nature Collective, Explore HUDs, um, Explore Nature Places as a HUD, and it should take you to a um, place of nature. And you see, this is Nature of Art Book Club. Um, And you know, like I said, between uh, if you know where to find them, this is one I actually did not know about. Um, some of these I find a happenstance so they just contact me, unfortunately. Um, maybe there's an easier way to find them? I don't know. I do feel like I miss quite a few. Because these nature places on Second Life people do such an amazing job and you see there's nature in parks but there's nature that's embedded so you have your coffee shop you have your bookstore and I guess this one's a collaborative because we have Shutterberg's group a book club each month oh that's cool yeah you know I think there's always been book clubs in Second Life which I, I really admire. Um, it's a community for everything. It's not just your special interests. This sim also has uh, virtual abilities, Alcoholics Anonymous, but general special interest, book clubs, nature, nature walks, hiking, dance troops. We also have a couple awareness sims, Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, we have art sims. Um, we have a dance troupe, we regret nothing, interactive with, you, with yourself or with someone else. I like this, Unchained from Meat Space Realities, Weightlifter, we have no regrets. Remnants of an Enchanted Forest. Cool. Here we got the, uh, Mark, I think. Oops. I accidentally found out that the trees and bushes have poses, which is really cool. I like those flowers. Star Trek related sims. We go all through different explorers, Vikings. Goodness, 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 never stops. <laughs> we got Vikings, Marco Polo, um, name it, airplanes, aviators, NASA folk, nice rocket, Star Trek. Um, it's actually not just science fiction, but it's actually information. So that was a very general overview of the sim. Um, we know we didn't get you everything. We hope we got into the hidden stuff, um, some good commentary and whatnot. We hope to see you in the next episode.